was the governor is just continuing to uh, uncover things that uh, are not acceptable in the state of Arkansas, not acceptable to her administration or the people of Arkansas. And one of those is the school of the blind and the deaf has just been neglected for decades. Calls for change at the school of deaf and blind began four months ago after images inside the school surfaced online. Well, now change is coming for those students and teachers. Today, Governor Sanders announcing plans to build all new facilities for the Arkansas schools for the deaf and blind. And those images not only look bad, but they also raised safety questions. New tonight, THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us the new plans and what it will mean for those students. These are the pictures we got this past November when parents first started sharing their concerns about the schools. Now the governor is putting money towards making sure they have the state of the art facilities and resources. You want the best for your kids and, and we feel like we're finally kind of getting to that point. Patrick and Carrie Smith are the parents of Griffin who attends the Arkansas School for the Blind. He's in second grade and is excited about getting new equipment. Another tire swing with no pokey things. <laughs> Crumbling exteriors, leaking and drafty interiors, a vast piece of land overseen by just a handful of staff with significant security, health, and safety concerns. Governor Sanders announced plans to build new facilities for the Arkansas schools for the deaf and blind. Some buildings will see minor updates, while others could be fully demolished and replaced. And we're going to prioritize student safety and happiness so that ASD and ASB will thrive as they were intended to. The legislature has $30 million set aside for the project. I see a school state of the art. Uh, we want to keep our kids safe. We want to give them the best education. Which makes families like the Smiths ready for a better future. He should get the same um, education that his sighted siblings do. The governor said there's not a timeline yet on when construction will start and end, but she said she hopes this begins as soon as possible.